Today I'll be doing a kind of first impressions overview of the Nike Air Zoom Odyssey. It's a brand new shoe from Nike that they just released in August. The Odyssey here is pretty much the child of the structure and the Vomero. Um, you know, it takes a little bit from each combined and you come out with this great shoe. It has high cushioning and a lot of similarities to the Vomero, but it also has that structure thrown in there just like the structure. And it falls under the category of um, a lot of cushion and also a lot of stability. So the upper is going to be pretty familiar. Um, they're integrating that on all their shoes nowadays. It is made with that fly knit material. The fly wire has been flattened out, so it's going to be thicker. And that just really helps lock down your foot more. Also added to this shoe is the heel counter, which is um, from the like Lunar Glide and Lunar Eclipse. Um, to lock down your heel and give it a little extra bit of stability in there as well. On the medial side here, you'll see it has um, some dense, dense foam all the way heel to toe. Looks pretty similar to the Nike Zoom structure. You can see here is the structure. Here's the Odyssey, just in the heel and structure all the way through on the Odyssey. The white foam is Lunar Lawn, so it's going to be nice light. Um, but cushioning comes up a lot in this shoe with those two lightweight and cushiony foams. There's also the Nike Zoom unit in the forefoot and the heel. So essentially, this is Nike's version of the Asics Gel Kayana. They're both high support, high cushion shoes. So this shoe, this Odyssey that I picked up is the competitor pack. So it is the track and field um, edition, which, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty wild color scheme, white, volt, and purple, but it looks pretty cool. I've been happy with this shoe so far, but I will give a full review when I put some more miles on it. 